Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Curran. Um, I just wanted to show you the settings that you will need to um, set up just one time in order to use Read Write on any Google product um, or any website so that you can annotate and break down the reading to help you comprehend and write better. Um, also, there is a second tool called Text Help PDF. It's similar to Kami. Um, so I just want to show you how to set up the options so that they are set and you don't have to worry about them again. And you always have the ability to annotate a website, any Google product or a PDF, and also to turn it in through Classroom. So let's get started with that. So up here on the toolbar, you will notice that I am focused on Read Write, Read Write for Google Chrome, which the district should have pushed out to everyone. So you should have that. And then the second one here is Text Helper PDF. If you don't see them up on your toolbar, you can click right here on the extension puzzle piece and you can go down and they're alphabetical and see if you have them. So let's look at the first one. So read, write, I do have, and I wanna pin it down so that now it stays on my toolbar, okay? And there's not any options that I have to set for that, so that's fine, but just pin it down so you always see it here on your extension toolbar. The second one that I want to make sure that I have is called Text Help PDF Reader. And this is from the same company and they both work together. It's just that read and write works with um, slides and Google Docs and Sheets and forms and all of that and on websites, whereas Text Help works on PDF documents. Okay, so you will wanna pin this down too. So again, it's up here on your dashboard. Um, but before we do that, we want to click on the three dots and set the options here. So I'm gonna click on the three dots and you'll go to options. Wait for a second for that to open. And what we wanna do is we wanna check off the first one so that it always shows our previous position. So if we were working on a document and we wanna come back to it later, we were in the same spot. Then you go all the way down to the last three. So the, this one here says open web PDF. So anytime um, you are on a website and it happens to be a PDF, you will get those tools to annotate over that page on the web. The second one is enable um, classroom integration. Um, so that will allow you to turn in your documents just like you did on Kami. So that button is very important. So once you did your work for your teacher, filled in the blanks or annotated, you have a button that helps you turn in directly to Google Classroom. And then the third one is open classroom PDFs directly. So if your teacher assigned a PDF or a document to you, you would have all those great annotation tools to help you to do your work. So first and the last three. So once you're done, you can click X and you're all set. Now, the second thing that I would like to do is, again, these are one-time settings, you won't have to do them again, is go over to Google Drive. And remember, you can type it in here, drive.google.com. You can do that. Or you can just go to your Waffle, of course, and um, click on Drive. Or some of you might have Drive down on your, your taskbar. So however way well you want to get there, that's fine. So once we're in there, we're going to go to Settings. And you're going to click on the word Settings. And on the left-hand side, you have three cho choices, three options. You're gonna click on Manage Apps, okay? And as you scroll down, you'll notice that all of these apps are attached to your account, okay? And some are default, so that means that those programs will auto open automatically. And um, as you scroll down, the one that we're looking for is all the way at the bottom. Now, these are alphabetical, is right here. Read, write for Google Chrome that one allows us to open up PDFs, okay? So it's very important. And I want to check that to use um, by default so that anytime I open up a PDF, I do get those toolbars, okay? So that's very important to us. And you will see down below that we have the text help reader as well, but you don't have to set that as default. We're just looking to set this one, read, write for Google Chrome, set it as the default. Now, if you open this and you didn't see it, um, it's not a problem. You can click right here, connect more apps. And it basically is taking you to the, to the Chrome store, to the app store. And you can type in right here and you can type in read, write for Google Chrome, or just even read, write and click search. 
And here it is. You're looking for the one that says read, write for Google Chrome, but it does have this PDF editor because that's the one that we really do need to have. And then you're going to click on it and you're going to add it to your drive. So it says drive add on. Yes, you want to add that in and install it. If, you, if it wasn't there, you're just going to install it now. Okay. And it will take you over to ask you, um, do you allow read write permission to work with your Google Drive and Google Classroom? And you just want to allow that. And it will say that it's connected and you can click OK. And then you can click Done. And then you're all set with that. Your one-time settings are all set. So now, for example, say I have a Google Classroom. I'm in my Google Classroom, it's called Test, and my teacher sent me a document. Now, um, if I just click on this, it's gonna close out the Classroom tab for me. Um, and I'd like to keep this document and Google Classroom open at the same time. So what I like to do is a right click or two fingers down on the trackpad. I'm opening a new tab, yes I do, because I want to have my PDF document for my teacher and Google Classroom open so that I can turn it in. So I'm going to click in an old, new tab, and now you notice up at the top, Classroom is still open. And here, if I click on the second tab, here is my document. Okay, so now it looks like I can't do anything, but I can. So to use the pull-down menu where we used to use Kami, now we will use Read and Write for Google Chrome. And if for any reason you do not see this, if something went awry, it's not a problem. Again, go down to the bottom like you did in Drive. Click on Connect to More, Connect More Apps. And again, you can type in um, Read Write. And you can click on here. So Read Write for Google Chrome, for PDFs, click on it and install it. So it will come up. So now I want to open up. I want to open up with read and write. Just give it a second. Okay, so now you have your PDF that you can write on or annotate or fill in the blank and you have all these tools. So this will help you if you um, click on an area to uh, have it read to you, you certainly can. So you can click here, you can turn this on and you can click on the button. You can notice I had it in a different language. I had it in Portuguese. Um, and you can change that to any language you want to, which is over here in the options menu. You can change your, your language and I will send you out a video on that. Okay, so you can turn off that tool. Um, you can have it read to you. You have a dictionary at any time where you can highlight words. And notice here that it will give you the dictionary and you can even press, press play and it will read the word to you. Okay, um, you can even have a picture dictionary and you can leave all of these open at any time um, so that every time you hover over a word, notice the dictionary changed and the picture dictionary changed. If you need words translated into a different language, you certainly can. You can click on the translate button too. And I know it gets a little crowded, but some of us might need that those extra tools, so that's fine. So it will take the word and translate it into whatever language you decided to put that in up here in your options, okay? And we'll go over the language options later in, in the second one. Okay, so I don't need these, and I'm going to um, actually just uh, add a text box and put that in here and put my answer in here. And again, I can change the color of my text. I can make it red. Um, I can uh, make it smaller. I can make it bigger just by these. I can even use this option in talk type. So I can click on that and as I'm speaking, it will type for me. This is called prediction. So um, when you turn on prediction and you need help with what the next word you want to write, the computer is trying to predict what you might want. So you can hover over Good these word. And Good if you want that word, you can click on it and it will type it in. 
Okay, so that's prediction. And you can always have it read to you the answer as well. If you don't want it, you can trash can it. If you're done, you can click check and then it will be saved. And this item here is you can drag and drop this answer wherever you want it to be. So it kind of fits in those blanks when you want it to. But I like my answer here, so I'm gonna click check. And now I have that, okay? You also have some highlighting tools here. So you can highlight words and you can change them to whatever color you'd like them to be. Um, you can do that. Um, so I'm gonna turn that green and I'm gonna turn off, remember, Sometimes you have two tools on at one time. So if it's highlighted, as you see here, you know the tool is on. And if I wanna turn it off, I can click on it and there's no more highlighting, okay? And there's highlighting. So there's just a really basic overview and we're gonna do some more short videos about each of the tools. But I'm glad you got your settings all straight. And now that you are done, when you are done with your project, you can click over here on the right, turn into Google Classroom. So you wanna click that. And so what that does is saves all the layers that you put on top of the teacher's page, okay? So the assignment that the teacher gave you, it's saving the highlights. It's saving all of these notes, okay? It's not gonna save these dictionary words. Those, that was just for you. So click in turn in on the PDF document. And then just like Cami, because this is the reason why I had it open two times, go back to Google Classroom and click turn in there as well. And it will say, are you sure you want to turn in? Yes, you do. Okay, so just as a reminder, you're going to do all of your work and click turn in. And then you're going to go back to classroom. So that's why it's nice to have those two tabs open and click turn in there. Okay, and that's it. And we'll do some other short videos. So once you get the settings all set, you guys will fly through this no problem. Okay. Have a good day.